And I do believe over the next couple of months, we are going to see silver really begin to move. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about $26 an ounce silver and whether or not I consider this to be a pullback. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course the brand new Kraken Stackin t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver. And as I am recording this video right here, right now, the spot price is, according to Kitco, $26.68 as I'm recording the video. Now, by the time I edit the video, it's going to change. By the time I post the video, it's going to change. But it is, after all, Friday, so we are going to soon be locked in place for the next couple of days. But I wanted to talk about this today. And truth be told, I didn't even think that this was necessarily worth commenting on but I've been getting a lot of comments I've been receiving a lot of messages from people here on YouTube from people on Instagram from people who are a part of the precious metals VIP club which by the way the very first VIP only live stream will be this Saturday the 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time link in the description but a lot of people have been asking me is this a pullback or a lot of people are just excited about silver dropping. A lot of people have been saying that silver got smacked. A lot of people have been saying that this is a huge dip. And truth be told, like I just said, I didn't think that this was necessarily worth commenting on because in recent weeks, silver has been in this range. I mean, silver has been pretty much stuck in limbo. If you ask me, I've been talking about that during my live streams. I say it has a lot of reasons for it to be going up. It has a lot of reasons for it to be pulled down. So I feel like it's being like torn in two different directions and forced to stay within the 24 to $29 range, I really do not foresee it going up too much higher or falling down too much lower from that little range, at least not for the next two and a half to three months. I could be completely wrong, by the way. I've been wrong in the past. I will, in fact, be wrong again in the future. But my honest expectation is that I don't think silver is going to move really at all maybe up or down a couple of bucks, but I don't think it's going to do much else for the next few months. But I wanted to talk about this today because just a couple of days ago, we saw silver in the 2850 range. Silver has been up. Silver has been kind of scaring us. I know a lot of people are saying, oh no, please don't hit $30, myself included. That's something I've been saying. But from 2850 down to 26 dollars and 68 cents it's really only down two bucks which is why i initially said i didn't think it was worth commenting on because i don't think going down two dollars is really all that drastic i mean just last week this is what the spot price of silver was it was in the 26 27 dollar range so i don't necessarily consider this to be much of a pullback at all i do not know how long this 26 and change Silver is going to last, who knows, maybe by the time the market opens back up in a couple of days, it will still be in the $26 range. Maybe it will begin to pop off. Maybe it will surpass the $30 mark. Or here's another possibility. It's not guaranteed, but this could in fact happen. Silver begins to decline. Goes down to 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, and maybe back into the teens. Now, I do not think that's going to happen, but it's definitely a possibility. And I've been getting a lot of comments from a lot of different people saying that they are waiting for a pullback. And anybody who is familiar with my channel knows that I do not wait for pullbacks. I wait for paychecks. I don't sit around with my fingers crossed waiting for anything to happen because nothing is guaranteed. There's a lot of people saying, oh, this should happen, therefore the spot price could do this, but the key words in those are should and could or, or maybe and possibly or might. These are not exactly examples of 
promising verbiage to say the least it's it's all speculation at the end of the day so a lot of people are speculating right now rightfully so i mean a lot's going on right now the the current economic climate not just nationwide but globally there's a lot going on right now we have elections coming up we have a potential second stimulus coming up and if and when that happens you know the next day everyone's going to be talking about oh now we need a third stimulus so we have a lot going on economically right now a lot of places are still shut down a lot of silver mines are shut down included so it's not just the places that are digging up the silver it's just the overall state of the economy a lot of people are still stuck at home not on the job and it's a train wreck right now to say the least it's it, it's a disaster and with all of this in front of us there's really no telling what silver is going to do next i mean it, it's really completely up in the air at this point which is why i think Silver's not going to do much at all for a little while. I think it's going to sit tight for the next couple of months, and then I think probably later in the year, probably early to mid-November, maybe later November, we're going to see silver actually start to move. Now, it could go one of two ways. It can go up, it can go down, but I do not think it's going to sit tight. I don't think it's going to sit tight for very much longer. I think within the next couple of months, silver is going to start to drastically rise or drastically fall. I don't think it's going to sit tight. I don't think it's going to keep doing what it's been doing, have its ups and downs. I don't think it's going to be a gradual increase. I think it's either going to be a huge increase or it's either going to fall. Like I said, I could be totally wrong, but that's just my honest expectation. Now, I'm obviously not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel is financial advice, and I am definitely not a psychic, so don't take that as fortune-telling or me making psychic predictions. I have absolutely no idea. I'm just speculating over here, but I am looking at the chart, and judging by the last month, silver hasn't really done much at all. I mean, right around a month ago, silver was about... 2689 and it's currently 2668 so really for the last 30 days it's gotten pretty much nothing done keep in mind this is all short-term thinking i personally couldn't care less what silver does in the short term obviously i'm trying to get the most bang for my buck i'm trying to get the most money for my currency but if silver goes up a dollar fifty or down two bucks or up 50 cents or we're down a dollar fifteen. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. It's not really affecting me or impacting me from a long-term perspective. But it is interesting to talk about, and it's definitely fun to look at and observe from a short-term perspective. A lot's going on right now, but silver hasn't really been moving much at all, which is actually pretty surprising because I would assume that with the dollar bill taking so much punishment right now, that silver would naturally go up. And silver oftentimes goes hand in hand with gold, not 100%, but typically if gold goes up, silver goes up a little bit as well. But gold hasn't really been moving all that much either. Gold is still, as I'm recording the video, about 1940 bucks. That's not really moving much at all over these last couple of weeks. And with Warren Buffett recently diving into the markets, obviously not with physical gold, but still affiliated with the gold market, I thought that would really make gold begin to move. Turns out it didn't really do much at all, surprisingly. So I think silver and gold are stuck in limbo right now, especially silver. And I do believe over the next couple of months, we are going to see silver really begin to move that's my honest expectation like i said i don't know for sure but i thought it was interesting but i also want to talk about a potential pullback because there's a lot of people saying oh this could lead to a pullback or this could be the beginning stages of a pullback it's important to remember that many of the people who are saying that this is the beginning stages of a pullback are the same people who have been saying for the last couple years that this could be the beginning stages of it's skyrocketing a lot of people are more comfortable having an answer, even if it's an incorrect answer, than they are to be left in the unknown. I would rather have an answer than not have an answer at all, but at the same time, I would rather not have an answer at all than to be given the wrong answer. So it's important to remember to take 
a lot of the comments, a lot of the predictions, a lot of the expectations with a grain of salt, because at the end of the day, no one knows for sure what silver is going to do. Nobody knows for a fact whether silver is going to go up, whether it's going to go down, whether it's going to stay the same, whether it's going to go down and then go up, or whether it's going to go up and then go down. There's really no telling right now. And with all of the economic uncertainty, not just here in the States, but around the globe, there's a lot of factors that need to be taken into consideration. There is a long list of things that play a role in silver going up, silver going down. I mean, as I always say, silver has over 10,000 different uses. Silver is used everywhere, not just silverware, not just jewelry. Silver is the most reflective metal. It's used in mirrors. It's used in solar panels. It's an incredibly good conductor of both heat and electricity. It's used in electronics, it's used in batteries, it's used in medicine, it's used in photography, it's used in cars. Silver is used in so many different industries. And the issue right now is most of these industries that silver does play a role in, a lot of them have been affected by the shutdowns, by the lockdowns, by all of this being stuck, not moving phase. And I think silver is kind of sitting still mostly for that reason right there but keep in mind the 10,000 different uses for silver is just you know one thing on the list it's also going to be whether or not the dollar bill begins to get you know printed more and more and more and more if inflation starts to kick up if if that starts to kick in and we see the dollar bill take even more punishment than it's already taken over these last couple of weeks over these last couple of months I think we're really going to see silver begin to take off at that point i would assume the issue is we have no idea if a second stimulus is even going to come to fruition i understand that a lot of people need it a lot of people are relying on it there's a lot of people who are in really tough financial situations right now now i do believe that paychecks are better than stimulus checks i think paychecks are better than unemployment checks but with everything going on right now, unfortunately, it's out of our hands. There's a lot of people who are getting unemployment checks that hate it. They want to go back to work. They don't want the unemployment. They want their job back. But unfortunately, with everything going on right now, it's just a train wreck. It's a disaster. And I do believe that over the next couple of months, we're going to get some insight on whether or not things are going to continue opening back up or if the places that open back up are gonna be the only places that stay open for the time being or if those places that open back up are now gonna to have to shut back down. The ball is in so many different courts right now. It, it's all over the place. It's up in the air. It's out of our hands. It's out of our control. So. I've been saying this for six months, and I can't stand saying this because I've been saying it for too long, but it's still too early to make any conclusive statements. We're speculating. We're trying our best to dissect as many different aspects of what's going on right now. We're trying our best to understand as many things as we can. There, there's so much information that we're being bombarded with, and unfortunately, due to these supposed experts who are disagreeing with one another so it kind of makes me question whether or not they're really experts why are they not going by facts why are they arguing over what's a fact and what's not facts are facts you can't argue facts so why are the experts arguing over what the facts are it makes no sense to me so if the experts can't even figure it out i don't know how us average joes are supposed to figure it out but my honest expectation or at the very least my honest hopes right now is that silver is going to sit tight for the next couple of months, the next two, two and a half to three months, and then maybe early to mid to late November. Sometime in November, I think we're probably going to get some more information, and I think we're really going to see the beginning stages of silver either taking off or falling back down. I do not think that this current new normal, the whole in-between $24 and $29, stuck in the $25, $26, $27 range, I do not think this current new normal is going to last for very much longer. I do think this is the temporary new normal, but I do not think 
it's going to last over the next couple of months. I think after a couple months go by, we're either going to see silver take off or drop back down. But I'm curious, everybody watching this right now, what are your thoughts? What do you think silver is going to do? Or I guess more specifically, what do you hope silver does? And how long do you think it'll take for silver to do what you're hoping for it to do? Do you think that over the next couple of months, we're going to see silver begin to take off? Do you think a couple months might go by and silver is still going to be sitting where it's at? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think that another six to 12 months are going to go by and silver is still within the price range that it's currently at? Do you think silver is going to fall back down? I've been getting comments left and right from people saying that silver is going to fall back down below $20 any day now. I've been getting a lot of comments from a lot of different people, all with different perspectives, all with different mentalities, all with different opinions, all with different beliefs. And I appreciate us being able to have an open conversation where it can go in really any direction. Let's keep it civil. Let's keep it constructive. Let's keep it realistic. Let's stay objective. But let's share our thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know anything and everything related to the spot price of silver right now. What is your opinion on $26 and change per troy ounce of silver right now? Think it's gonna last? Think it's gonna go up? You think it's gonna go down? What do you hope it's gonna do next? And if you guys are interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club where I can do things on my terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. Privately held live streams, they're smaller, easier to manage. I can read more comments and respond to more people in real time. You can watch all the YouTube videos commercial free. You can get access to giveaways, year-round discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, and much, much more coming soon. Don't forget, the very first VIP-only live stream will be this Saturday, September 5th, 2020 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. You're invited, I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying to hit 2,000 subscribers, we just hit 1,000. I appreciate that. And if you guys wanna help support the channel in the biggest possible way, Please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Kraken Stackin t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. Comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on the current spot price of silver. As you are watching this video, what is the spot price? You might not be watching it the same day that I post it. Maybe you're watching several days or several weeks or months down the road. What is the current spot price of silver? And if you're watching this as I'm posting it, what are your thoughts on the current spot price? $26 and change. Obviously, it hasn't moved all that much, but it is down two bucks. Do you consider that to be a pullback? Do you think that silver just recently got smacked? Are you capitalizing on $26 an ounce silver when you were a little bit more standoffish at $27, $28, $29 silver? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Anything related to the spot price of silver and what you think or hope that it's going to do next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.